Hey there everyone, Maria Marquis here. In this video, we're going to talk through how your Coda Docs can respond to different conditions using if and switch if. These two formulas are great anytime you need to build some logic into your tables. So let's explore. Let's start with if, which is the most simple of the two. It gives you a true or false option. So the structure is you say if a certain condition is true, what should happen? And then what should happen if it's not true? So you say, here's the situation I'm interested in. Here's what I want if it's true. Here's what I want if it's not true. And we separate those by commas. So let's take a look at a real example. I've got this out of office calendar and I want the contact to be the person's manager, this column, if they're currently out of the office. So let's go ahead and see this formula in action. We'll edit that formula. And here I've got my if. So I put all of those little pieces, the condition, the true, and the false inside of the if parentheses. So I say, if out of office is equal to yes, if that's true, I wanna put the manager's name here. If it's not true, it should just be the regular name of the person here. So let's see what happens now when we change things around. Let's say that I am back in the office and then Ben is going out of the office. Notice how those things change. That's the if. I say, here's what I'm interested in. If that's true, show me the first option. If it's not true, show me the second option. And all of that is right inside those little parentheses, true and false. But sometimes we live in a world where it's more than just true or false. We actually have a few different options we're interested in. Switch if allows you to cycle through these options as you go. So let's take a look at what I'm trying to do. We've got a bunch of different statuses for projects. And depending on what status something's in, there should be a different person assigned. So if it's drafting, it should be me. If something's ready for review, it should be Ben. If we're editing, it's Rocky. And if it's ready to publish, it should be me. Now I could do all of that manually, but I might forget. So switch if can actually help me here. Let's take a look at how we put it together. We'll open up our formula and I'm gonna give us a little bit more space by clicking right here and choosing auto format. So here it is, switch if, and we put all of the options inside of those parentheses. The first thing is, if the status is equal to drafting, then I want it to be Maria. So I say, here's the condition. If that's true, this is what I want to show. Then I go to the next thing. Well, if drafting's not true, if writing ready for review is true, then I want it to be Ben. If that's not true, I go to the next thing. Check to see if the status is editing. If the status is editing, make it Rocky. If it's not, go to the next thing. If the status is ready to publish, make it Maria. So here we're doing a bunch of if thens. If this is true, then show me this. If this is true, show me this. If this is true, show me this. If this is true, show me this. I like to think about it kind of like human language. I could read this as a paragraph. All right, here are the different statuses. The first status could be drafting. In that case, Maria is gonna be in charge. Sometimes the status is ready for review. If that's the case, put Ben on it. Sometimes the status will be editing. If that's true, put Rocky on it. Sometimes the status will be ready to publish. If that's true, make it Maria. So think about this kind of like a bulleted list and then put your conditions, comma, what you want if they're true. And you can cycle on through them. So this allows you to have then everything respond the way you want it to, right? Editing, notice it's Rocky. Ready for review, it's Ben. If it is ready for review, it's Ben. And if we are ready to publish, it's gonna stay me. So if and switch if allow you to build that if then logic into your tables. So now it's your turn. Think about the potential logic trains that you have and go ahead and build a formula for it. I'll see you next time. Bye.